Mobile or cell phone number portability in Barbados could soon be a reality. That's the word from Prime Minister Frendel Stewart, who provided an update during the second reading of the Telecommunications Amendment Bill 2017. Your, your number becomes portable even though your, your service provider has changed and uh, this can be done or is intended to be done at minimal cost. This project was launched in September 2017 and we confidently expect that by the end of this year, by December 2018, the local number portability project uh, would have been completed. Mr. Stewart says work continues on the establishment of an internet exchange point for Barbados. This is very important because much of our exchanges in the world of the internet now have to go outside of Barbados, Miami, and New York because we don't have or uh, have not had our own local internet exchange point. And that has implications not only for costs and for the speed at which our communications uh, take place, but it also has implications for the security and the privacy of our communications. While acknowledging that there are a few old properties like hotels on the island's coast that have remained unsold for a number of years, a veteran real estate developer believes different factors are impacting the situation. Sir Paul Altman, Managing Director of Altman Real Estate, shared his perspective on the issue during a recent interview with the Business Report. Some of the properties that you have seen sitting around for a long time have um, I think the challenges relate to investor confidence in that particular niche in, within the market and I, I think that confidence is something you, you either people have or they don't have. So we have, we, there's been a little bit of, of uh, concern among people who want to come here and invest in terms of, of uh, quick responses from, uh, as an investor uh, and I think we need to, to challenge our uh, our areas that provide all of the tools to allow investors to come in to be, you know, to be more efficient. Sir Paul says there's another key factor for some investors. And, and of course pricing, so, so that some of these properties maybe need to adjust their asking prices in order to achieve the, the result. But the stronger uh, challenge that we have is, is, is investor confidence related to efficiency in terms of getting through the process of, of getting what they want done, getting answers, getting, getting things to happen because of some efficiency that surrounds it. You can't just come and build a hotel, you need all kinds of permissions and, and of course you hope that you will get uh, consideration in terms of incentives and various other things because we, we, we shouldn't see incentives as a loss to government. We should see incentives as a, as a way of attracting investment. Time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. We get started in Jamaica where Sajikor Real Estate X Fund Limited was the volume leader with 3,260,757 units and they were followed by Panjam Investment Limited and Siboni Group Limited. In Trinidad, Trinidad Cement Limited was the volume leader with 45,657 shares changing hands for a value of $169,447.35 and they were followed by Sajgor Financial Corporation Limited and Scotiabank Trinidad and Tobago Limited. And in Barbados, Sajgor Financial Corporation Limited was the sole security trading 1,600 shares at $2.12 each.